Hey guys, with Eternal Masters being $10 a pack MSRP and perhaps even more $12, $15 a pack at retail from your local game store, what you get in it does make a difference because you can be out $10 extremely fast. Now, there's not, this is the top 10 cards you do not want to get in a booster pack of Eternal Masters. Definitely, let me just talk about this one in particular, the Dragon it was unbanned, its price spiked drastically, then it was reprinted in Internal Masters. Now it's the mythic that you don't want to have. That being said, there's plenty of rares. These are just nine of them where if you see this as a rare, you're probably going to cry just a tiny bit. Goblin Trenches, called the Skybreaker, and the Giant Insect Spider is all under a dollar. I would probably say retail under 50 cents will eventually be under 50 cents and it will be bulk very hard to op spend all that money and then open one of these cards and assuming you don't have a cool uncommon or a foil you're pretty much out the whole price of the pack goblin trench is definitely a card that i when i became previewed i was like why would they put this card in when there's so many other great cards like Rishon port or a uh, Gitaxin Probe, even making Gitaxin Probe a rare would probably be better than Goblin Trenches, to be honest. The next set we're going to see is a little different, but Diminishing Returns, Unexpectedly Absent, and Dual Caster Mage. They're about a dollar a piece, so a little higher than the 50 cents. However, again, you don't want to see these cards because even though they might retail for a dollar today, they will probably be 25 cents, 50 cents later. Of note, is dual caster mage was supposed to be the next coming of snap caster mage and i know wizard coast believed it so because they made one of the judge foils dual caster mage and they typically do not make judge foils of bad cards they only make judge foils of you know, extremely popular cards that way they can in the past pay the judges instead of paying them cash they would pay them as volunteers with these judge packets Again, you do not want to see these cards. Diminishing Returns, I believe, was from Alliance, and I definitely love the card, but not a card you want to see. Next few cards are around $2. Uh, Disc, Karmatic Guide, Karmic Guide, and Goblin Char Belcher. Goblin Char Belcher is probably the interesting one here. It might be an interesting speculation at a dollar, but definitely not at two. The problem with this, if you assume these are $2, Star City Games would probably pay you a quarter to buy list them, given uh, what where they are in the scope of demand. So these cards will be reprinted to Oblivion, and people you will be able to pick these up as much as you want. Uh, definitely these are nine rares that you do not want to see, Do you do not want to open. Even foil versions of it, you probably don't want to see that often. But none of that compares to the next card, which we already saw. A card that many, many people speculated heavily on. They felt they were right. It was unbanned and the price spiked. They probably held on to their speculations, waiting for the eventual, I don't know, second spike. This dragon is about under $2 for a mythic. But it offsets your box. So getting one of these in, a, in your box is the worst case scenario in my opinion because it outweighs because the, generally the mythics are quite valuable it outweighs getting multiple bad rares because you're taking the spot of a force of will a jace or even a a vault caracas there's so many cards that are so pricey and mythic that this takes the slot of as opposed to rare I mean the rares are even only the top eight rares are over $10 right now. I expect that to probably be the top five um, after it's actually released. So that dragon just feels bad.